in New Orleans. Staying over here at the Marriott on Canal. And that's the Harris. Than Beefy King, Jeff? No. <laughs> Nothing's better than Beefy King, bro. So, uh, just finished up three days in New Orleans, and it was uh, pretty cool. Had a really good time. Um, got to see some friends there, which was nice. Got to stay in a hotel. First time I spent money on lodging on the trip. So, splurged a little bit, but have fun. Uh, the Jeff for stopping by, and uh, Lisa for hanging out. Had a really good time. Um, really enjoy New Orleans. It's got a cool culture, cool vibe. Got a lot going on. Um, Food recommendations. Gonna have to go with Surrey's Cafe for breakfast. They've got a uh, pretty awesome banana Foster's French toast and shrimp and grits is what we had. And then um, Carmo, it's a cool little lunch spot. And um, kind of the only thing I kind of did near Bourbon that I liked was uh, Felix's. Um, Good oysters. Oysters on the half shell. Decent price. Great location. Um, carousel bar is pretty cool. And um, probably just getting off bourbon is what I'd recommend. But go New Orleans. Great town. But let's talk about why you guys are here. Uh, the poker. Harris Poker Room. Pretty good. Um, smaller room. Uh, but Saturday night was good. Ended up playing three sessions. Very happy with the results. Uh, ran pretty well. Um, initial thoughts were the 2 5 game was pretty tough. Um, it's deep, first off, which is always scary um, when there's unknowns. Like, I don't know who's capable of making a big move or who always has it. I don't know that out of the red group. So decisions become a little bit tougher. Um, but a lot of three betting going on in New Orleans and I like that locals. Three betting in position is very strong and they're doing it definitely enough that I know that they don't always have it. Um, and just tough to play against. Uh, and you're encouraged to call free flop just because everyone's so deep. But put in a couple tough spots. Um, I just thought they were good players. Um, a couple other things I liked. You can order, there's a sushi restaurant right across the street from Harris or close by. I don't know. But they will deliver to the table and they accept chips. Pretty cool. Big fan of that. Um, good sushi. Very good sushi. Uh, what else? Thought the game was good. 
games were good. One three was really good. And you know, Bayou, everything on the Bayou just plays deep. Everything in the golf, uncapped, man. It's big games. Um, but really enjoyed my time there. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Uh, we're gonna get to poker. Um, the one hand I wanna share it at 2-5, I did not get the film. So uh, I got two one three hands set up for you guys uh, from different sessions. Big surprise here. We have aces. Shot on the button, three limpers in front of me, and I'm in middle position. And I make it 50 with two aces. Um, the button, the small blind, and under the gun, plus one, all call. Going to a flop with four people, and the pot's $220, I believe, with yeah, two limpers folded. So, Flop comes 10-4 deuce with two spades and small blind checks under the gun plus one bet 75 and with the two spades uh, and just the 10 I'd probably make a small raise here typically but I like to just to call and that's mainly because the small blind pre-flop looked like he was going to raise uh, or four bet my three bet um, or three bet because I just opened yeah three bet um, look like you want to do that and uh, but he, he decided not to just call 50 I mean maybe he thinks 50 is a big bet to me it just seems like he has probably his tens to queens and doesn't want to uh, just flip for 800 effective with with ace king or whatever Ace Queen. So he uh big button folds, gets to him, and he jams. He jams for seven oh five. And uh under the gun plus one folds, and now it's on me. And it's the action I wanted, and I kinda froze up, man, honestly. Um He definitely was the type of guy who would seem so the pot would have been three hundred and fifty bucks, like he'd been happy with three hundred and fifty bucks. So even with like sad tens, like some people are just they're just scared money in the game um and i kind of got that vibe but i still thought it was most likely going to be jacks queens or kings but in order to make sure i actually tanked and um started looking like it was gonna be a really tough call like i don't know what i should do um and started kind of asking information and um i thought with pocket tens his demeanor would stay the same. And I thought with Jackson Queens, his demeanor is gonna get he's gonna get happier. He's gonna think he's ahead. Um, almost always. So uh, I became the scared money, I guess. And uh went into the tank and uh actually had the clock called on me too. Really went into the tank here. And uh kinda got the read I was looking for and uh, made the call pretty early into the clock and uh he rolls over jacks and the run out misses him the turn was actually a queen i was like oh i'm dead i just knew it but uh he had jacks so got like a big pot there um ran okay at, at two five uh definitely made good money but at the end of the night i ran ace queen when i opened a hand uh ran ace queen into pocket tens on a queen queen ten flop so that was gross. Could have, had a, could have had a real nice night. But um, great poker room you guys got down there at the Harris. And uh, I'll be back. So in this hand, we open Ace King offsuit from under the gun. And uh, we get two callers the uh, small blind and the big blind call. So playing this hand in position from running the gun. Pretty sweet. Uh, flop comes out ace, jack, six. So we flop top pair, best kicker. And the uh, the small blind checks. And the big blind elects to lead here um, for $35. And um, we call. Don't really see the point of raising right now. Uh, we really want him to continue. He's kind of 
the action guy, so let's give him a little rope. Turn is a 10 of spades. It's a card I, we don't love. Um, he might now have two pair, but um, we did turn a gut shot, which is good, and he leads strong here for 75. Um, we take a second, and we're going to go ahead and just give the action some action. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get it back if, if we're wrong here. Um, so we call. And the river is actually an interesting card. It's it's a king. King of hearts. So no flush draw is completed. And we have top two pair. And there's obviously a four card straight here. Um, so I think any two pair cards and sets, I just don't see him betting. So... I feel like he either has ace queen, ace jack, sorry, ace queen, or queen jack here. Uh, he leads for 95. Um, we take a second and we get the call out there. And uh, he right away says, Good call. So, uh, nice little pot here to start. And we're not sure what he had, but later on we fi figured out this guy could have something like nine high right now. So pretty happy with the hand. Good f start to our one-three session. So in this hand, we uh, we open suited aces. Um, from middle position here, there was a button straddle to six, small blind called, big blind called, and we raised to 20. Um, it folds around here to the button, who calls, and the small blind calls, and big blind folds. So we go three ways to the flop, and um, So three is the flop here of ace, seven, four, rainbow. Um, small blind checks here. And I elect to lead for $35. Um, when I flop a hand this strong on a board this dry, if I bet the flop, I'm always checking the turn. Doesn't matter what card it is. Um, and I feel like in one three, I'm more likely to bet flop instead of check back flop uh, just because there's still more cards to come and people tend to to chase a little bit more in uh, smaller games so it turns to three of clubs and I go with my plan here and I check and the button pretty quickly checks back um, and turn is four like we didn't think we already had now we know for sure we are. Um, so this is a situation here where I, I'm trying to make sure a seven's going to call 100% of the time. Um, it's really hard for him to have an ace here since we have three of them. So I lead 55 and he snaps. Um, the reason why I don't want to lead bigger here is because if I let's say I was to bet 100, I feel like five six. Or maybe even a four might only call and not re raise. But leading small, I think I'm going to get the fours to a four to always re raise or five six to always re raise. Um, and hopefully get the whole stack.